Okay, so once you have this printed, it's pretty easy to assemble. Um, the first thing you want to determine is if you're stacking them. If you're stacking a few of them like this, I have two going uh, facing forward, so they both pivot in the same direction. And then I flipped one around, so it pivots in the opposite direction. So if you're doing something like that, you want to kind of figure out your configuration before you start assembling this, because you want to first put together the two opposite pieces. This is the arm on one, and then the uh, the mount, the body mount on the other. So this would be like an opposite configuration, and then you flip it to do the to do the same side uh, pivot. So it look like that. They both pivot in the same direction. So I'm using these uh, two millimeter by six millimeter screws for everything on here um, or you can just glue them together if you want a permanent solution so there's two screws I use uh, to put them together right here and then there's two screws I use on top the uh, top plate and that top plate is op is actually optional it just covers more of the servo I don't like so much of the servo showing so I just made that top plate after that you want to get the robot servo arm and take your uh, servo horn and slide it into this little slot here it should kind of bend in there and you push it in and snap it in like that you want to take an eight millimeter piece of filament this is three millimeter by eight so a really tiny piece for the pivot and you're going to put that right in here that little hole into the to the body and then place this right there and that's your pivot and what's going to hold that on is the servo the the wires come out the little uh the shorter end it has some space there so you press it in there like that so there you go it's in there so i'm making sure the uh, servo is all the way over and then i snap it on when the arm touches the the end so there it is attached and then the next step is to put the screw into the horn and then you want to screw on the servo with the other two screws that come with the servo kit put on those little holes there other one there don't do it too tight it's not a it's not a threaded hole. It's a two by, not two by, it's 2.25 millimeter hole. So it just barely fits and it holds pretty well. And then after that, you just put on the, the top plate. There's two sides to this. There's a thinner side up here and then a wider side. The thinner side points up like that. And I already started my two screws. These are the two millimeter screws. And there it is. Tiny little robot servo. I try to keep it as small as possible. Kept the profile small like the servo itself. And uh, while also having a, a decent design. And that's it. Hope you guys like it. You can attach them into like any configuration you want. But there's no like, you'll have to design any, uh, if you're designing a full on robot, you'll have to design like the hip joints and stuff like that. And you can just screw them onto here or glue it. That's it. Thanks you guys.